Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this is a first in a series of videos today where we are going to show you how to install or to clean install Windows 10 May 2019 update from scratch. So the series of videos will show the steps that I use and explain these steps in the easiest way possible. Now first I have a lot of people that say, well, you know, I'm scared to do a clean install. Well, tell yourself one thing. If it's because your PC stopped working and it just doesn't behave well and you just don't use it, you got nothing to lose to try it by yourself because it already doesn't work anyways. So you can't, and that is important because people have a tendency to think, well, I can break the computer. No, you can't. You can't break your computer by installing Windows 10. If you actually have problems, what's going to happen? You'll probably need a tech guy to install it for you. That's it. You can't break your PC. Of course, if it works well, you might. I, I totally understand that you might not be ready to do it. Um, remember one thing. Windows 10 is the easiest Windows operating system to install. It is so automatic in the way that it installs itself that you have very little to do to actually have it working and that is nice because the input from you is very very uh, minimal now what do you need to do before doing this of course backing up your files what I will be showing here is a clean install that involves you to reformat your hard drive to reinstall the operating system and that is important to know because you'll lose everything so of course backing up if your PC isn't uh, working one of the ways that you might need to actually use a backup will be to actually remove the hard drive from your PC for you know a little while and plug it in a USB cable and with a uh, there's these kits that they sell that you can actually plug in to your PC and have it as an external hard drive temporarily while you actually do the install. And of course um, I will try to have, you know, th this is going to be split into several short videos to make sure that you know it ain't uh, too long per video but each video will show you the steps that will actually be important that you will see while you install it. I will be installing the Pro version, but it doesn't change anything. It still is the same install, whether you'll have the Windows 10 Home, the Windows 10 Pro, and the Windows 10 X uh, Enterprise, or so on. So make sure that you, you save and back up the files that are important, and follow the videos today. I had done a clean install series about two years ago. And I thought that it was a nice, it's a, it's the time to actually do it again. Because even though the install process didn't change much, one of the things that did change is the uh, questions. There are a series of privacy panels that actually pop up. So it's important to actually notice uh, when you'll install because, you know, what do I answer to each panel and how do I set up everything and have it working? I will also be talking about installing on an older machine, um, how it's going because I've installed on t a 10 year old PC and a lot of you actually commented and, tell and told me, you know what, after you test it for a while I'd like to know your opinion, does it work well on a 10 year old laptop, um, does, is everything okay? Um, so I will be of course doing a video uh, for that also. Um, now, where do you get Windows 10? I'll post the link to the place where you can download the image. Look at the videos. I, I posted in the last week, roughly in the last uh, 10 days, there's a video that shows you how to create a bootable USB thumb drive with your uh, with Rufus and the image, how to download the image. 
you can also create a DVD if that's the way you want to install it. Remember that installing from a DVD it takes a much longer time amount of time than installing with a USB thumb drive. But it might work and in some cases because of uh, the way that your PC might be set up. There could be, it could be better to actually boot from your DV a DVD than rather booting from a USB thumb drive. And if you have a really old PC it might be possible that you can't boot from a USB thumb drive. So creating a DVD will be the best thing. So the link to the download page of Windows 10 is in the description below the video. Just click there to get the image and create either a DVD or a USB thumb drive following the instructions there are on my channel already. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.